What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Yes, but if rose is the name given to a rotten egg, then that which we call a rose would stink and we would lay hold of it and toss it out with the trash. In Spanish, Haiti is called IET. The reason it's called IET is because in Santo Domingo, Haiti is called IET. That's the name that they have always known IET by, and that's the name that they continue to use. Likewise, in IET, Santo Domingo is called Saint Domingue. That's the name that IET has always known it by, and that's the name that IET continues to call it, Saint Domingue. Now, in the language of the people of IET, the pronunciation is IET. It is not Haiti. Haiti is a word that was most likely imposed upon the nation by Europe through the usual means. Now, why would they do this? It turns out that in the modern Hebrew, Haiti, H-A-Y-T-I, means I was. So if you're talking to somebody in Hebrew, and you say IT, you just said I was. What Europe did was change the name of IET from God's people to I was. The name was changed to a proverb and a byword, making fun of God. I was. Now we know that for God, time is of no consequence. It makes sense when you think about it that God would tell Moses that my name is I am. In other words, how dare you change the name of one of my people, one of my nations from God is with us, I-E-T, to I-T, which means I am was. And so when Moses went to Pharaoh, he told them, I am sent me. He is reminding Pharaoh, though you may try to make a mockery of the Holy One of Israel, you will not succeed. And so I am pretty sure that figured prominently into why IET is spelled H A now as opposed to A H I E T. Well, if that's not more evident. Obviously, a free black nation in the New World was a big threat to Europe. And so they took many, many steps to make sure that the people of IET would always remain suppressed, whether they be in the United States, whether they be in South America, Central America, the people of God would always be suppressed. In IET, one of the ways or one of the forms that this has taken can be seen in the Bible itself. In IET, the Bible is called Bibla, the Bible. What's interesting about the Bibla is that a lot of the verses that I had read to you out of the King James Version, those verses have been altered or changed in the Bible that is used in IET. So in other words, a verse like Isaiah 9 verse 6 that gives you the names 
of the Messiah where we learn that one of the names that he is called is the Prince. The word the Prince does not appear in the Bible of IUT. Again, in Daniel 9 verse 25, the word Prince does not appear in the Bible of the people of IUT. The reason is that someone living in the court of the prince might read that and start thinking. Now, um, a lot of people might say, well, fine, maybe they didn't use prince, maybe they use king. Okay, that's, that's all well. How about Proverbs 30 verse 1? where we read, these are the words of Agur, the son of Jake, that he spake unto Ethiel, even unto Ethiel and Eucal. That's what it says in the English Bible. However, in the Bible of IET, the word Ethiel and Eucal are removed. Even though Ethiel appears twice in the King James Version, in the Bible of the people of IET, that entire phrase with the name Ephiel twice has been removed. Why? Why have all these changes taken place? The reason is they do not want someone to connect the dots. They do not want you to understand how the name of God, how the name of the Messiah, the Prince, actually has to do with your salvation because it points to Judah. It points to New Jerusalem. And that information is too dangerous. That information could not be left inside the Bible that is being circulated all over IET. Too close to home, as they say. And so we see that Many, many different tactics, different techniques have been employed upon the house of Israel, upon the children of Israel to keep them from coming together, to keep them from putting aside the petty differences, to come together as the family that we are. They do not want us to know who we are because unity makes strength and if we are united we will be strong and if we are strong we can build up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand on the day of the battle of the Lord. If you are a person of color everything you learn about your history is a lie and if you are of the house of Israel everything you learn about IET is a lie. One of the biggest reasons why IET is treated the way it is treated in the media is to vilify Haiti so that everyone may hate IET. The house of IEL is very important because here we have the word IEL, A-H-I-E-L. IEL means my father God or God my father. The house of IEL is so called because of a face that was found in the house that's at the base of the citadel of David, also called the Ophel. The citadel of David is in the old Jebusite city that's directly attached to modern Jerusalem today. The house of Aiel is very important because it kind of links David to Ah. Because David called God Ah, Father, very, very often. His house referred to God as Ah. They referred to God as Father. And so when you look up the house of Aiel on the internet, it will not say Father because the word Ah 
is hidden. The word are has been removed from most of the English uh, Bibles that are being produced today. Instead, they have the word O, the letter O, or they have ah, as if it's an expression of sign. But we know that the prophets call God Father. We know that David named his whole house after his father. And we know that Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, Yeshua, called God Ah. He called God Father. He called God in the Greek word Abba. All of them signifying Father. And so as we move forward, it's time to move forward in truth. There is nothing new under the sun. History has a way of repeating itself over and over and over again. And we find that in the Bible. Many of the stories of the Bible are talking about events that happened in the past. And at the same time, the same story is talking about events to come. Things that the mighty God has said, has said will happen to us on earth here in the future. And so many of the prophets spoke about a new Jerusalem. Many of the prophets spoke about the daughters of Jerusalem. The daughters of Jerusalem, for a lot of those prophets, was IET. Zechariah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, a lot of prophets spent a lot of their time talking about the people of God, talking about IET. And so, in the same way that you have York and New York, York being in England, you have Zealand in Europe and New Zealand in the South Pacific, you have Judah in ancient Israel, and then you have a new Judah, IET, in the Isles of the West. 